Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, he tried to lock pick. <laughs> Ratchets blowing. The next time y'all hear that, <laughs> his casket's closing. <laughs> Gamble in my brain wasn't coming up with none. Then it hit me. It hit me. At best, he's Delonte West, a motherfucking bum. Clip slam. Hey, hold on, fuck it. Drilling like Sosa, make him Sosa. With me, pitola, and la boca, let it boca. So, got animated. While I'm thinking about killing kids, damn, I'm crazy. Bigger nine, and a stolen like Spanish babies. Yeah. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Sue Surf versus Cortez releases is streamed on Caffeine. It's now out. A lot of people heard audio, audio, Claudio, bootleg versions of the joint. You know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of people speculating who they felt like won. So I figured, I go back through, ball for ball for ball, the balls that I like, and I can ultimately pick a winner. URL has ultimate madness coming up soon. I hear a lot of people going back and forth. This person should judge, that person should judge. Woop de woop de woop, right? I don't want to judge no battles. I've always said that, like in the past. I've said this before. I'll say it again now. Y'all act like, oh, if I'd have got beef, beef, bro, I don't got no beef with nobody, my nigga. No beef with URL, no beef with Jake Black, none of these niggas, bro. I do what I do on my own channel. I can say what I want, whenever I want, however I want. If I want to drop a video once a week, once a month, I can do whatever I want to do. And plus, I don't work for free. Like, this is the disconnect that me and niggas had before. I don't work for no niggas for free. I'm not going to, so quit asking. I hear you. Like, it's not going to work. I make money, I pay people, I get money. I don't work for free. I don't got eight weeks, 10 weeks to be around battle rap for free. That's just never gonna happen. So let's move that out the way. I don't, I'm good. Let's move. So, and then when I had the opportunity to do it before, I let Showtime, I gave the, I pushed the opportunity to SP. He judged a $100,000 tournament, the king of the dodge joint, you know what I'm saying? Like I like to see my niggas get their opportunities to shine. I'm good, trust me. We good. Now, uh, Cortez versus Sue Surf. My nigga. To see it and to see all of the actual moments that happened in the battle, I do have a winner. It is a little bit closer than people probably would like to give credit to and credit for. And there were some moments in the battle that I felt like really helped me decide who I felt like won it. So coming into this battle, Cortez was a huge underdog. There was a lot of people saying Cortez was going to get smoked. Sue Surf was on his run where he was winning battle for battle for battle for battle. Like three in a row, you know, they, they were, niggas were saying 330s, whatever the case may be, right? So you got Cortez coming into this battle. It was supposed to happen on the one card. It didn't happen. You know, the fight happened, woo de woo And now you have them battling again on a civil war. Uh, I felt like Cortez, in order to win a battle like this, would have to take the battle from Sue Surf. Like he has to take the battle. Like you have to have something in your rounds or in your battle that's going to sway the because the crowd is automatically going to be with the biggest star that's not a problem i've seen people win battles where they weren't predicted to be the favorite but they had specific particular moments that helped push them over the top it's not going to be easy but at the same time you've been doing this for a while like cortez is one of the most disrespected people that have been around for a long time like I remember blogging about Cortez versus Sue Surf or reading the comments in my blogs and people was like, oh, Tez is dead, oh, Surf 30, oh, Cortez is not like that. And just anything that you can think of, right? So then you have the battle actually happening. You have uh, Sue Surf. Uh, he's mentioned this in different scenarios that he went to a funeral earlier that day. He lost his uncle. You had Cortez dealing with the passing of his grandma. Rest in peace to both of them. And now you have them in a battle where you know, Cortez is in an uphill situation. Regardless of how the cake gets cut, he's in an uphill situation because most people are feeling like if Surf comes and just gives three rounds, regardless, and I'm gonna break that narrative down, I'm gonna break that down, and I'm gonna let you guys know 
what round is just a if he comes through and gets through a round he's automatically going to win it because that happened in this battle and he didn't to me in that round he didn't win but don't worry about it i got you so cortez versus sue surf um sue surf uh cortez comes out in his first round right and he says I give a fuck about Snake Eyes as long as I get the title shot. He kept referring to Surf as the title, you know what I'm saying? Like gun titles, I get the title shot, you know what I'm saying? And um, that was his one of his opening lines. Then he went to a crowd participation bar. Now, sometimes crowd participation bars, they work towards you, and sometimes they can work against you. You've seen T-Top have one of the biggest uh, crowd reaction bars ever, self-checkout. Do, 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 the, the cash is taking all day. Self checkout. Uh, you know, um, uh, what's her name? First Lady Flames just had one. Her battle with Jack Boy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you for every time you ate, smoked all the ashes out the jar. And fuck you every time we had an argument and it went too far. So crowd participation bars have been around for the longest. But the thing about a crowd participation bar is you gotta know it's gonna hit. You gotta know that it's gonna work. You gotta you gotta have it formulated right. So. Cortez's crowd participation ball was SMD. Me personally, I'm not a fan of men telling other men to SMD. I'm not even going to say it. Uh, he was like, if you ever been hated before, tell him SMD. And then he's like, uh, Sue Surf, SMD, SM. He said it like four times. I counted. It was four times. I'm like, bro, like I, this is just the opening. So I, I, I got past it, but I, this is just me. I'm not hating, I, I rock with Tez, but this is just not my cup of tea. So, he says, uh, when I body opponents, spray cans over the title like I'm Hollywood Hogan, liked it. You know what I'm saying? Hulk Hogan, spray can over the title, I liked it. 45 and I'm chasing the title, Tom Brady, I like that. Uh, he said, You'll sell more when you dead. That's how you earn an ash. I like that. You earn an ash. You know, that's always going to get over on people. Earn an ash. Earn an ash. An ash. An ash. Right? Uh, he said, I scoped the neighborhood. I might be buying a house there. I like that. Uh, what is a wave when my grandfather literally walked on water? Love that line. Uh, then he started to speak in the Spanish. Dip, 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 with me pistola into la boca. I fuck, I got to put it in subtitles or something. Then he started getting reaction, like real reaction. Tez had to fight for his reaction. Why? Because he's the underdog. Why? Because Surface URL's guy. He's on the pedestal. So he's fighting for reaction. When me pistola into la boca, got to put it in subtitles or something. Who gives a fuck about race when dead is how they identify him? I like them. Uh, trigger emotions line that was dope. He always talking about his levels when every casket is six feet. I fucked with that line too. Uh, he's then he said shots can not, can knock rock through wave. That's a ripple effect. I like that. Uh, the kid napping neighborhood. That's an amber alert. The kid napping neighborhood. The kid napping like the kid nap neighborhood. That's an amber alert. I like that boy too. That drum was actually kind of fire. Uh, Flame and bubble is top, it's a souffle. And then he went to the taco two. Crack hard shell or crack a taco two. Taco Tuesday. Uh, I could bring up that PPP loan, but wait, that ain't my business. Third round, there's some shit we gotta speak about. He's, when Cortez does this, he's, tell, he's leading you to the third round. I appreciate you reaching out, but in the third round, there's some shit we gotta speak about. He's leading you to think of when you get to the third round, what is it we need to speak about? Sue Surf comes out and his, and now Cortez, very, very serviceable round. Scale of one to 10, I give it about an eight. Serviceable round, had some moments in there, but these are, this is a round that's a good round. You know what I'm saying? Great to me, no, but good. Good is good, I'm not gonna hold you. Um, Surf comes out in his first round. Uh, starts it out with core. If this even feel like a lick, Colombian necktie seemed like a pseudo type rebuttal bar. Uh, they asked me how I feel about core. I don't like them. We'll ice them. You'll be with the wings. That's a Brightling. The B with the wings is the Brightling logo. Uh, back with the nails to core side. I'll spike them. But it was like he was like he started out 
going into the fast paced AMG mode, you know what I'm saying? They ask me how I feel about a car, I don't like them, we'll ice them, you'll be with the wings, that's a bright lint, bat with the nails to his side, I'll spike them. And then he kept on going, he had like a whole set of like a good eight to 10 bars where everything was like chained together. So he says then, you old, we push to the side that tight writing, leather face, cut them up, slice them, stinking, reeking everywhere, dykeman, Shout out to the Bronx, you already know what it is. A lot of Dominicans up there too, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got you. Reeking everywhere, Dykeman. Then he switches up the flow. Shang Tsung took, took, took twerk soul, got animated. Why am I thinking about killing kids? Damn, I'm crazy. Bigger nine in the stroller like Spanish babies. Yeah, that now, he's cooking. He's cooking, now he's cooking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shang Tsung took twerk soul, got animated. Why I'm thinking about killing kids? Damn, it's crazy. Bigger nine in the street. We talk to him. Now he jumps into another pocket of flows. Stick like your Spanish. Choppy. Big stage. Shine on these floors. Epoxy. Four to the scalp. Get caught in the mouth. Hibachi. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep going. Ball head blue in his eyes, I'll make a Nazi. Now the crowd is, oh my God, they're going line for line. Ball head bigger than my, I'll make a Nazi. Stage, performance, presence, everything is there. Leg shot, corneal pop out his socket. Get pistol whipped with the bulldog so bad, Flea was still on it when we got in the house. You know what's bad, getting shot in the mouth, or pistol whipped with the bulldog. Core still on it when we got in, flea still on it when we got in the house, forgive me. Then somebody in the crowd is like, yo, that shit was fucking crap. Like, that's the kind of star pie. This nigga starts talking through the bars and service like, I know, I know, right? Then he says, they asked me who could he be in the NBA? I couldn't think of one. Well, 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 at best he's Delonte West, a motherfucking bum. Then he gets to the if it ever rolls on stage, Selena down. That shit was cool. If it ever rolls on stage, the roses on stage, Selena down. I fucked with it. I'll expose this pussy in the bodega always hiding on the bread. I'll expose this pussy in bodega always lying on the bread. When you go in the bodegas, especially the poppy shops, the aki shops uptown in New York, the cats be on the bread. I got Sue Surf 1-0 after the first round, and it's clearly because it's a difference in levels in material. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I did not like in Cortez's first round that whole second round SMD suck my D. I, I just wasn't for me. And then there was other parts of his round where I'm like, if you're gonna knock Surf out and take this, you're gonna have to start taking these rounds. Surf has got mad energy in his first. He's got different pockets of flows, epoxy. For the scout, get caught in the mouth of Bachi. The ball head blew in his face. I make a Nazi. This nigga styling on you in the first round. It is what it is. So, Cortez comes back in his second round. He starts off his round. Me suing the URL is getting settled with court. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the, the, uh, the Norbs line. He said, The town heard of us. He plain shook. Wild turbulence. Trump mask, we wild purging, we wild murderers. Court snatching grandson like child services. Now that's what the fuck, that's what I'm talking about. Court, yo. <sighs> Court snatching grandson like child services. Like that line. Then he went to the Pete Davidson, I sleep with the K. Then he had the range from this faux faux dame from the logo. Then he said, I don't care what you think. I went from cracking the vault to breaking the, from not cracking the vault to breaking the bank. I liked it. I was pushing lean back when R. Kelly was pushing P. Um, the grams is golden. Then he had, he tried to creep. Ratchets blowing next time you hit her. The cask is closed. This is what I need, Cortez. This is what I need. This right here, this shit right here, this, this is what I need. This is what I need. This right here. He tried to he creep. Ratchets blowing. Next time you hear the the cask is the pockets of flows. I'm telling you, it's so it's so 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 imperative that this material. That's the shit that people gonna chant. That gonna react with you. I'm fucking with that bar right there. Uh, nine fly when it when it hits the wave. It'll stain the white tee till tie die. 
Then tide dies, the tide I stain tea till it's tide die, then the wave which is the tide dies. Cortez, this is I'm I'm, I'm with you with this one. Uh, then he had another line, Brooklyn, I've been blocks like it's no parking. If you ever try to park in a major city, Brooklyn, LA, uh, any of them type of cities, bro, you'd be driving around the block fucking 10 times trying to find a parking spot. I loved it. Uh, Sue Sir, second round. Uh, he, it seemed like he came out on some rebuttal and shit again. You know what I'm saying? He said, you all math can't afford an AP, that shit take you off. Uh, he said, I know, I know. That sound like some silly shit. But that's a code for a body. Let me tell you what it really meant. But then he said in the beginning, I'm hungry. Let me get a sandwich. I need ketchup, mayo, uh, bun, poppy seed, lettuce, and all of this shit. Then he says, I know, I know it sounds like some silly shit, but that's the code word for a body. Let me tell you what you really meant. Then he says, I may owe you a fade for ketchup red laser on top. The bun be the drum. I open up pop seed. Saw everything from the back of bodega. I make a chopped cheese. New York, nigga, I make a chopped cheese. We don't know, I ain't gonna say nobody that, so we can get that up out of here today. He says, why he in court in the middle of my kids don't deserve that? Why he in the middle of court, the kids don't deserve that? Court cast all white. Let's see how getting Seinfeld, he talks about Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, court cast all white. Let's see how getting Seinfeld. Uh, they gonna find fit bottom rip, that's the warm up. He said, your stock was un poquito around the time I tortilla. Tortilla. Like, tortilla? It's a reach, but I fuck with it. Your stock was un poquito around the time I tortilla. Let's go. Uh, he says, 16 squeeze in the whip, I wet backs. Then he says, I pull up with the stock X shit out. We not fucking with stock X. When I heard stock X was selling them bing bongs. So, uh, pull up with the stocks, I X shit out. Then he said, the skin tone, cool gray. Uh, to me, it was not an effective round. It's not. I know them niggas be like, oh, Vada, you're a certain nigga. I could, I've could. i been doing this shit long enough, nigga. I can break down rounds. This is why I don't judge rounds for free, my nigga. I break this shit down so effective. Why the fuck would I do this for free? Why the fuck would I do it for free? Anyway, uh, so to me, it just was not an effective round, especially in comparison to the shit that Cortez had. The rats is blowing. Next time you hear the, the casket's closing. Ben Black's like, I'm looking for parking. Like, core shit to me was just better. You know what I'm saying? Like, his second round was just better. The town heard of us. He playing shook, wild turbulence, Trump mask, we wild Persian, this wild murder of us, court snatching kids, child like God, grandson of child services. He's fucking bugging. So we get to the third round. I'm like, in the third round, Cortez told me there's some shit we gotta speak about. So I'm like, okay. This, now I got it 1-1 one, one going into the third. I got it 1-1 one, one going into the third. Cortez has got the round from Surf. Surf is that nine round, 12 round, how many round streak y'all niggas are saying, that shit is over. Now we going into the third round. Cortez to steal this battle, but he needs to have a round better than his second and better than his first. He needed his best round to be his third round to make it, to make it a way that he could steal the battle. So Cortez comes in his third round. My battles, he said, you said, you got art bullets in your arm, your wrist, your neck, your hand. You can't get out. My battle's been vaulted for years. There's still some rounds I can't get out. Dope. He flipped surf shit on him. I hear niggas say, oh, you stole it. He didn't steal it. He flipped it. So, I fuck with it. Uh, I'ma work the pen to murder him. I got one night to fuck up neighborhood so let the purge begin. I'm like, oh, yes. Cortez is about to come with that round that we was talking about that he needed. In order to do to do, you know what I'm saying? He had to put on his dancing shoes. In order to get this shit done, he gotta put his dancing shoes on. I'm like, okay, he's tying them up. When he tied them up, I don't know where he went from there. So let's keep it going. He says, uh, I lift a bat and rod wave, cool. Uh, this a fake bag for me. I'ma put fear of God in your soul, fashion week. Uh, license to carry, my life was scary. Skeletons in my closet, ain't no Micah Mary's. Then he says, I'm Tom Brady at the Super Bowl, down 25 at the half. I'm fifth after he took nine. Here's the aftermath. I'm Nick Foles on the Eagles run. I'm LeBron down three to one. The, the, the great comeback story. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I liked what, it, what he was talking about, but I'm waiting for to hear what he's going to talk to Surf about in particular. Did he have some dirt? Did he have some knowledge? Did he have some shit that he was going to leave us out there with? So anyway, um, tell Chess he act bold that I'm cutting his leader. He said, uh, your man got cut for the shit you do. I'm a witness to, got duck, got served duck in the vault like Mr. Scrooge. I liked it. 
DNA everywhere, he's missing teeth. Then he says, I'm really Mexican. I've been my had my back against the wall my whole life. Cool. Third round, voila. There it goes. Let's get in the surf's round and I'll tell you what I thought about both thirds. Uh, you think getting top tier money is top tier money because you've never seen top tier money. Because you've never seen top tier. Then he says, you know, a chick that never been nowhere would think Roof Chris and Fridays or Roof Chris and Applebee's is the same. It's really not. Trust me, there's levels. Um, he says, your front end, my front end, your whole back end. Then he has another line. Who core linked on JPay? I've been giving niggas on the top tier money. I thought that was fire. You know what I'm saying? Core links is the, the site that you use to send money on JPay to link niggas on the top tier. Shout out to everybody. I hope niggas in jail. I want y'all niggas to get out soon. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who's grinding doing their thing. Not the niggas who got weirdo charges like rapes and murders and uh, kids and shit like that. Y'all can keep them niggas. But the niggas who, you know, shit like that. So anyway, if I catch Bodega, he said you battle raps bad bunny. If I catch Bodega after hours, you're going to see her arm out the window. I explained this line before, I'll explain it again. In a lot of major cities, after the hours are closed, the Bodegas have a slide window where you stick the arm out the window to serve people. Yes, there is a spinning door on some, but some just have like what is like a box and you can stick your arm out the window. It is what it is. We're not going to go any further into breaking that down. It is what it is. He said, you got niggas like serious calling you ass, you worried about me, you need to dial Jones. He said, listen, John B, if you don't want to be with John B, don't listen to what people say. You got 81 battles and niggas still ain't hearing you. I will slap the shit out you, Vixen. Sorry, wrong material. This is all he switches it up. I will slap the shit out you, Vixen. Wrong material. Okay. Okay. Uh, 40 Glock licking his mouth, fresh kisses. Uh, smack. If you if you said no the first time they asked to book this battle, blink. He did. He was like, he got glasses on, but he blinked. He got black. He said, you were sleeping on the couch with that L. Rex had you sleeping on a sectional. Yeah, I know my L is over there on the ground, but who cares? Uh, you want to know what's Ultimate Madness? Getting paid $750 for Ultimate Madness. He says, you want to know what's Ultimate Madness? He said, you was on the spaces trying to down talk your mother to identify your blackness. You want to know what's ultimate madness, something to think about. He said, just because you hung out with a couple of afros don't mean that you could pick, you know, let the crowd react to the bar. The only race that matters is the one that you to the hospital. Then he says, talking about you gave math, the gun, the pistol whip, moot, why you ain't do it yourself. Where was the gun, the pistol whip disaster when he popped on math? Then he started talking about the New York tree. You don't shine on the top, that's an ornament. You lost a 100K tournament. Rex had you sleeping on the couch. Is y'all recording this? Different pockets of flows, different levels. I had Sue Surf winning this battle 2-1, but closer than people probably gave uh, props or admiration for. I had Cortez taking the second round pretty clear. In the third round, I, me personally, I needed more. I wanted Cortez to close the door. He, his second round was so fucking crazy. And I thought he would close the door. I'm like, okay, in the third, he's going to close the door. He's going to show y'all this is why. But he got into a bunch of bars. You know, he said, your, your last nine rounds is like jazz body, basic bitch. That was cool. I remembered that. Didn't even write it down. I remembered it, but it wasn't enough for me to like, oh, this is the moment. Like, it's just those moments. He had bigger moments in the second round. Eh, Ratch is blowing. Next time, you, eh. you know what I'm saying? If he would have, let's say it like this. If he'd had the same first round, and his third would have been his second, that second would have been debatable because to me, Surf's second was cool, but it wasn't crazy. Them seconds would have been debatable. If Sue Surf, if, if Cortez would have used his third, I mean his second as his third, he probably would have still beat Sue Surf's third. Just saying. I feel like the best rounds in the battle altogether was Sue Surf's third and Cortez's first, for Sue Surf's first and Cortez's second. Those are the two best rounds of the battle. And then you could throw Surf's third and then we can go in sequential order as such. But uh, I, one thing I didn't like, you know, about Surf, when Cortez was having moments, he's kind of like cheering him on, like, there you go, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, he's like, uh, when you take your son or your daughter to the park and they shoot and make a basket, you're like, yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. You're giving them sympathy, you know what I'm saying? I'm too busy making history for niggas to be giving sympathy. I don't want no sympathy. Don't give me no motherfucking sympathy. Like, oh, there you go, boy. Like, Adam, yeah. Like, he's little boy in him. Cortez is not noticing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, while, you, while, you, while Cortez is cooking, he's got to go behind him. Like, why you ain't reacting? He's talking to niggas. Why you ain't reacting? Because niggas are not reacting. You know, they're going to stay, they're not going to react. 
But um, what I did like from Cortez was the fact that he took the fight to serve, especially in the second round. Uh, overall, it's a very good battle. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is gonna be one of them ones. Uh, there may be some people out there who feel like they got core 2-1, but just from my personal perspective, I just feel like what Sue Surf did in his second, no, in his first and third was enough to beat those two rounds. It was just the part in the beginning where where Cole was like, suck my D, suck my D. I, it's just me, I'm not a fan of that. I don't know. I mean, I'm from the Bronx. I don't know. I don't be, I, it's not for me. Maybe if somebody, I'm cool with that. I'm not tripping. But, uh. Salute to everybody that watches this content, whether it's religiously or in passing, man. Make sure you hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the updates and alerts and things like that whenever we drop or when we go live. Follow us on the gram and shit like that. But salute to Cortez and salute to Sue Surf for the entertainment, for getting the job done even after, you know, the battle got pushed back and things like that. They still got the job done and the battle was still good. But, uh, you know, it's all good. Uh, I felt like, you know, I wanted to get back in here, like really break it down and let you guys know how I felt. And this is what it is, man. But, uh, you know, salute to all of y'all. We won't budge. And hell no, I don't want to be no judge. So when y'all had them conversations, y'all can just leave me out of it. Y'all don't even have to include me. Y'all can talk about whoever else y'all want. And y'all can have those conversations. Y'all can break that thing down like, oh, this person should be, that person should be, that person should be. Just leave me out of it because I don't want to do it. Never. Not now, not ever. Y'all have a great day. One.